rocket fuel in your food? Possibly. And here's why you should care. Now, you may have been watching me on YouTube for a while now, or maybe your doctor has told you that you're on your way to prediabetes and you've decided to make some healthier new choices. And first of all, I would like to say good for you. And as you're munching on your salad feeling pretty good about those healthier choices, maybe you just heard something on the radio that stopped you mid-chew. There may be rocket fuel in your food. What? Well, that's right. A toxic chemical called perchlorate, a component used in rocket fuel, munitions, and fireworks, has been making its way into our food and water. So stay with me as we look at what this chemical is, what it does, and most importantly, what you can start doing today to protect yourself and your family. Hi everyone, this is Kelly bringing you the health news you want to hear. Before we get started, I'd like to take a moment to remind you that this information is intended for general purposes only. It is not a substitute for professional medical advice, and you should always seek the advice of your medical practitioner for your unique case. All right, now let's dive into today's topic. Well, recent investigations have raised concerns about perchlorate contamination in food and drinking water. Now, I know it seems like every week there's a new concern, a new toxin, a new danger, something else to pay attention to. And we can't possibly pay attention to all of it. And I get it can get pretty overwhelming. So why this and why now? Well, why am I raising an alarm about perchlorate today? Because I care about you and your children. Perchlorate is a chemical commonly found in rocket fuel, airbags, explosives, fireworks, and plastics. And now it seems to be a common additive in food. It can show up as orange, number 32B. It could show up on a food label as natural flavors or other weird ingredients that you might see on a food label. And 67% of almost 200 samples recently taken from grocery store shelves and fast food restaurants actually tested positive for perchlorate in the United States. And the scariest part, the food products with the highest levels were found in baby food children's foods, fast food items, and fresh produce. One serving of boxed mac and cheese or one serving of baby's rice cereal contained up to half the daily limit for a young child, according to the European Food Safety Authority. And even though these food samples didn't exceed the EPA's limits for a single serving, the dangers of cumulative exposure is definitely concerning, especially for the little ones and young children who eat foods contaminated with perchlorate on a regular basis. But what does this mean and why should we care? For me, as a neuronutritionist, the problem is very concerning. That's because perchlorate is a neurotoxin that can lower IQ, cause developmental delays, and interfere with the brain development of children. Where did this perchlorate come from in the first place? The most likely cause is industrial pollution. Now, perchlorate sneaks into our water supply through industrial waste and leaching from contaminated soil, but it doesn't just stick to spinach. It also appears in dairy and meat products after the animals drink contaminated water. Now, though it might not be time to panic about perchlorate just yet, at a minimum, we should start becoming aware of its presence in our food supply and do what we can when we can. So what are those things? Well, here are a few things you might want to consider to help avoid this nasty rocket fuel on your plate. First, stay informed. Knowledge is power. So 
keep an eye on food safety news. Now, you don't have to be a food scientist, don't get me wrong, but it is good to know when there's something in the food supply that affects your health or your family's health. Second, start using a water filtration system if you're not doing so already. Ideally, a reverse osmosis system in particular is highly effective at removing perchlorate from drinking water. And you'll especially want to make this a priority if you happen to live in an area where perchlorate contamination is a major concern. Third, choose organic fruits and vegetables and grass-fed animal products when possible because these are the ones that are less likely to be contaminated. Then you'll want to wash and peel your produce to reduce the amount of perchlorate you ingest. And finally, eating a wide range of foods as part of a varied diet can help minimize your risk of accumulating high levels of perchlorate from a single source. This is especially important when it comes to feeding children and pregnant women. Now, in the end, perchlorate is one chemical you really don't want on your plate. But with some awareness and smart choices, you can minimize your exposure and reduce accumulation. Know that your choices matter when keeping your food safe. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, stay happy and healthy.